it's not because Singaporeans are anti-Indian mm. or that we are racist. Mm -hmm. It's because people feel insecure that the jobs, which are their livelihoods, were being taken away by foreigners. They're just angry, that's all. Mm -hmm. So when, when you're angry, you refuse to concede an argument to the other side. Thanks, Mr. Yo, for coming down. Um, yeah, so I want to ask you some questions more about, I guess, Singapore identity, which you cover in the book. Can you describe the Singaporean identity? What, what does it mean to you? It's very difficult to, to define the Singapore identity in a way that you can describe a Chinese identity or a French identity. Mm -hmm. Because Singapore is a blend of many races and religious groups which have come together mm -hmm. uh, without completely fusing or mixing. Some people describe us as a roja. In a sense, we are. And when you enter into the roja, there are wonderful little things, you know. Mm -hmm. And each has its own flavor, mm -hmm. its own characteristic, and all make the total experience complete. Singapore is it's not static. The mix is constantly changing. Mm -hmm. The pace is changing. The constituents are changing. Our tastes are changing. Mm -hmm. And we don't exist for ourselves. We exist in relationship to the world outside us. Mm -hmm. Singapore is not comprehensible without reference to the world in which we live. Mm -hmm. So whenever we talk about Singapore, it must be with reference to the world where we make a living, mm -hmm. the world from which we derive our values and our cultures, and our contribution has got to be measured against the services that we provide mm -hmm. to other people with whom we are related to in varying degrees. Mm -hmm. So that's Singapore. Mm -hmm. The key is how do we come together? How do we not just coexist or tolerate, mm -hmm. but how do we come together without losing separate identities, but at the same time, each enhancing the other. Mm -hmm. So you talked about like having SAP colleges and polis in Singapore. Can you elaborate a bit more on that? These are not new views. These are views I've held for for decades. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just putting out on print mm. the specific recommendation that Nanyang be a SEP university and Nyan be a SEP poly. Mm. That may be new, mm. uh, but it's, it's part of a larger debate about uh, maintaining a Singapore core which, which has high competence mm. in Chinese language, culture and literature. Mm. I think okay. it's necessary in order to build up a Singapore core mm. and then accrete foreign talent around the Singapore core. How do you think this suggestion you made um, factored into conversations and debate about SEP schools and Chinese privilege in Singapore? Many of these uh, concerns emanate from a deep insecurity that uh, as minority groups, their own identities are threatened. That uh, Part of the bargain is, I allow my identity to be weakened, provided you allow yours to be weakened. I would say, let each community decide, suggest, negotiate uh, what it wants for itself. So for instance, in that same chapter on Chinese education, I talked about the importance of having an Islamic college in Singapore, which at its core is Singaporean. They may not be world experts in Islam or Islamic jurisprudence. Mm -hmm. That they can learn elsewhere. We can get experts here. Mm -hmm. But understanding the meta-identity of Singapore, mm -hmm. we need Singaporeans. We will never stop debating about race, language, religion in Singapore. It's just a continuing conversation. In the conversation, we discover one another and we enrich one another. Mm. And it's dynamic because the world changes, we change with the world. Mm. One other question I wanted to ask you is about separating one's cultural and political identities. How does that play out in your own life? And what is that distinction for you between cultural and your political identity? Now, I'm talking here principally about being a cultural Chinese oh. and being a Singaporean. On cultural matters, on matters of identity, mm. respect is fundamental. Mm. And the more you respect my identity, the more I'll respect yours. Mm. But if you deny me my identity, I'll be very sensitive if you assert yours. Right. Political identity is, is something more general. We're all political animals mm. as human beings. But we're not talking about that. Mm. We're talking about not having divided loyalties between being loyal to China because I'm Chinese mm. or being loyal to Singapore uh, even though I'm a Chinese. Mm. Yeah. 
it's important that we make this separation that the PRC has its own interests, Singapore has its own interests, mm. and that when we deal with each other in a formal capacity, there is clarity on this matter. Mm. Even though ethnically we may share many ties. Yeah. In fact, those ties should make it easier for us to maintain good political relations. But there should be no confusion about our primary uh, political affiliation as nation states. Mm. Yeah. One of the questions I had, which you touched on in your book, was that you have a big part to play in Sika. And in recent years, I guess there's been quite a lot of negativity towards Sika. Why do you think there was such an adverse reaction to it in Singapore now? It's not because Singaporeans are anti-Indian mm. or that we are racist. Mm -hmm. It's because people feel insecure that the jobs, which are their livelihoods, were being taken away by foreigners. We have the highest concentration of IIM and IIT alumni mm -hmm. of any city in the world mm -hmm. outside India. Mm -hmm. The best students in India go to these institutes. And it's harder to get into some of these institutes than to get into an Ivy League college in the US mm. or, or to Oxbridge. So to ha be able to assemble so many of such bright and able people in Singapore, provided they're really bright and able, mm -hmm. and not those who are not good and taking away jobs from Singapore, I'm talking about those at the top, they help us link our economy to the world. They are very valuable to us. We must create such an equivalent process for these IIT, IIM graduates. Mm -hmm. That you are here, Singapore benefits you, please benefit ordinary Singaporeans. Mm -hmm. And one of the criticisms I hear is, many of them are high caste Indians, and sometimes they look down on some of our local Indians, mm -hmm. which of course is a no-no. Mm -hmm. And we should tell them, look, this meta-identity of Singaporean, of Singapore requires you to respect all Singaporeans. If they do the opposite and look down at Singaporeans, I think we should tell them to pack up and go. Mm -hmm. Conversely, how do you think we could communicate to Singaporeans to help them understand of things about like the universities and the prestige and, and how these people bring value to Singapore? I think Singaporeans like, know. <laughs> do I they? think Singaporeans <laughs> know. They're just angry, that's all. Mm -hmm. They're just angry because they feel that their jobs have been taken away from them, that they've been looked down upon. So when, when you're angry, you refuse to concede an argument to the other side. You just want your argument to be heard, mm -hmm. which is fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's how we are when we're angry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Singaporeans are angry. So the solution is to quell the anger first, is it? No, the solution is to tackle the problem at source, mm -hmm. which is that the gown must bless the town. Mm -hmm. Then the town will welcome the gown. So then what, what do you hope that readers get out of the book? I don't expect anyone to, to be interested in everything that I've written, yeah. but there should be some bits in the three books which should interest everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm reflecting, philosophizing. Mm -hmm. uh, these are musings. You may ag agree, you may disagree. You may want to press me further on certain topics. Mm -hmm. You may want to Google certain ideas that I put forth. Mm -hmm. But that's up to the reader. There is no attempt to explain everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are thoughts which did not develop when I wrote the book, mm. they were thoughts already in me, mm. which have now been put into words.